Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the HP touchpad. So here we have the touchpad, a very nice device, and uh, actually recently you may have heard about the sale that it has been on uh, because HP has discontinued this product. Uh, it is now, uh, it was available at least for $99 for the 16 gigabyte and $150 for the 32 gigabyte, uh, which is a big savings compared to the original prices of these guys. So now, now that a lot more people have the HP touchpad, uh, some people have been trying it, and at first glance, they say, this sucks. WebOS sucks, and it does. WebOS is slow, it lags, it, it's horrible. There's very little application variety uh, in the WebOS market. So we need a better solution. We have these very cheap tablets, but they come with sucky software. One company took the liberty of porting Android to the touchpad, so today I'm going to show you how that works. So I already ported Android to this touchpad. So right now I'm booted in WebOS, and I'm going to turn it off. And we'll shut it down. And just so you know, Android for the touchpad is currently in the beta stages, uh, so it is not recommended for the general public yet. Uh, it, is, it is very buggy. Um, it's not good at all for everyday use. Uh, a lot of crashes and everything. And In fact, I just had a major problem with charging the battery, which is why I'm plugged in right now. Uh, the battery drain is horrendous. Uh, it drains very fast, uh, so uh, it is, again, not recommended at all for general use only for testers or if you just you know wanted to see it uh, if you have another tablet or computer that you reuse so it is now off and we will power it back on now when we power it on we get a different screen now that Android has been ported so let me just zoom in on this now this is called MoBoot. MoBoot is a mini program uh, that basically allows you to switch between different mini operating systems on the touchpad. So uh, you navigate the operating systems with your volume buttons. So the first choice is Boot WebOS. Then we have Kyanogen Mod, which is Android. Clockwork Mod, which is a recovery state. WebOS Recovery, which is another recovery state. And then Reboot and Shut Down. So I'm going to select boot Kyanogen mod, uh, which will eventually show me Android. So to select, I just highlight it with the volume keys and press the home button. And as you can see, that booted up very fast. Uh, Android really boots up a lot faster than WebOS boots up. So this is the Android lock screen. And here is the Android home screen. As you can see, it looks very similar to uh, other Android devices. It is basically the same. Uh, we have our home screens with icons and widgets. And the full uh, nine yards, basically, we got our dock down there. So as you can see, I already have a few widgets up. I have applications on there. We have uh, all of our uh, home screens here. If we go to the application drawer, we can scroll through all of our available applications. Now let me just show you the uh, Android Marketplace real quickly. Uh, the market has a lot more applications than is available in the WebOS market. So if you have a touchpad and you're used to the WebOS Marketplace, uh, I just want to show you this real quickly. This is the Android market, and it comes with so many more applications than a WebOS offers. So we'll go to Apps. And here we are. We get a very nice magazine-style view here. 
Uh, we can scroll up and down. We can also scroll go left and right. So here are the staff picks. And these are just the staff picks. And it's probably, uh, this list probably is more applications than WebOS offers already. Uh, so a lot of applications available. Here are some of the better ones, uh, the featured applications. So uh, the variety of applications available is not even comparable to WebOS. Now I also want to show you some speed modifications that I did to this. So the uh, CPU processor in here is uh, clocked at 1.2 gigahertz by HP. And that's what it's actually set to by default. Now if we scroll over, I have a little widget here which allows me to modify uh, the CPU frequency. So uh, actually a lot of websites report that the processor in here is actually capable of 1.5 gigahertz. However, I have found that it's actually capable of 1.7 gigahertz um, according to this application. Um, and it actually runs just fine. It runs really well. Yeah, everything is really snappy and fast. I don't know what it's actually running at. I'm assuming uh, around 1.5 to 1.7. Uh, but this app also tells me uh, what it is currently using. And a lot of times it indicates that it is actually running at 1.7 gigahertz like right now. You may wonder how can the touchpad work on Android uh, because it only has this one button where you know Android devices typically have four buttons. They have a home button, a menu button, a back button, and a search button. Well the TMEC Kai Engine mod has actually done a great job at fixing this problem. Uh, at, on the status bar they've uh, included those necessary buttons for using the touchpad up there. So we've got the home button, the menu button, the back button, and there's an option to turn on the search button. I actually turned that off because I don't use it. And then this fourth button here is the notifications where it'll pull down your notification center. Uh, so you can uh, easily get to that without having to swipe down the entire screen. So those are the buttons. And uh, this is, like many other Android devices, very customizable. Uh, if you prefer your buttons to be at the bottom, uh, there's an option to change that. I kind of like them at the top because the, it's also a status bar, and I, I'm used to status bars being at the top. So I moved everything at the top, uh, but there is an option. I think by default, it's also at the bottom. I also want to show you some of the wallpapers that come with this. Uh, it does support live wallpapers, so I'll go to a home screen with less stuff on it. And uh, if we go to our home screen options, we could go to wallpapers and then live wallpapers and it comes with many pre-installed live wallpapers you can also download more from the market so I'll just uh, choose Nexus and we'll set that wallpaper and there it is and uh, especially with the overclocked processor to 1.7 gigahertz uh, the touchpad still runs very smoothly even with these live wallpapers uh, again, everything is still very smooth, even though we have all these little lines moving around the screen.